Okay, so hey everyone, it's Nemo, and today we're going to be redoing my DIY CO2 generator and, you know, remaking the mixture, and I'm going to show you guys how you make that mixture and everything. And so basically this is my old bottle, this is the old mixture that you get after like a week, a week and a half that stops making CO2, so you need to switch it back out and everything. So I'm just going to take this bottle over um, to my bathroom and, you know, dump it out and clean it out and everything and you just clean it out with like warm water and stuff. Okay, so um, I just finished cleaning the 2 liter soda bottle and so it's it's got like really pretty hot water in it right now and that's going to help dissolve the sugar. So that's one of the really important things you need, sugar. I just put two cups of it, about two cups into it and that's pretty good. And then the water, normally I put in the water after the sugar but you just want the sugar, you want the water to round out about at where the round spot's going to be once you add sugar because what happens when you add the yeast is it starts foaming and you don't want the foam to like overflow into you know your airline tubing and stuff so yeah so I'm gonna um, add that sugar now just make a funnel out of paper like that that in there Pour this carefully. Yeah, and you really do want to use a funnel or something because it's kind of hard to get it all in there otherwise. Alright, she's finishing up. And then you're going to want to um, cap it and shake it around. So I'm going to do that in a sec. But then also, something else you're going to need is a little um, container of like warm water like this. And this is just warm water to activate your yeast. So I'm going to take my yeast now. It's just, um, I don't even know what it is. It's quick rise yeast. It's just, I don't even know what it is. I just kind of grabbed it off the shelf. As long as it's yeast, it's fine. It doesn't need to be like quick rise or anything. It doesn't really make any difference. Alright. And you, that funnel is going to have some of that sugar stuck in it, so you just got to like kind of shake it around a little bit. Alright, so take your yeast, get it all to one corner. And then just cut it. Cut a corner off. Um, I don't put all this whole packet in it. This is like way too much for just one. But yeah, so I'm just gonna clip it. And you can just keep that for next time. But so yeah, so you have your little um pot of container of warm water and stuff and you just kind of turn around like this and this is actually called activating the yeast and you'll start getting this weird smell like this yeah I can smell it, Ooh, okay that doesn't smell very good alright but um, it's this weird type of smell that you get like um, when you add yeast to bread and such too when it's cooking it's that smell you get and that's also why you have little holes in your bread is because um, the yeast with the sugar you put in the bread um, rises, it causes it to rise, but it forms carbon dioxide, and that carbon dioxide is actually all the little holes you see in there. But yeah, but so you just leave this um, with the warm um, water and yeast and stuff, and just put that aside for like five minutes, and then shake up this bottle and stuff. So cap it, shake it around, just like that. And so, yeah, see, this one's just, like, a little bit too high. You don't actually want it, like, higher than this because when it foams, that can be really bad. So I'm going to take that, put it over here. All right, and then that comes to, um, that gets to the point where um, if it's the first time you've ever made um, a DIY CO2 generator. You're going to want to get your uh, tubes ready and stuff. So here, these are, this is my, like, connection of tubes and stuff. It looks kind of complicated. I know it's got, like, different caps on it, but I'm going to explain that. So this one is actually what caps into the two liter bottle. So imagine this actually had yeast in it now. And you know. So the cap starts there. And then 
This right here is just a check valve to make sure that um, liquid doesn't come back down from your tank into this bottle. So like if this somehow breaks or something, if your cap somehow breaks, water can't just start flowing out into your living room. That would be really annoying if you came home to that. So you have that. And then this actually goes to another cap. And this cap, if you can see here, it goes down on this side. And then this is the tube that comes directly from the 2 liter bottle. So this is actually very long so that when you put it in the other bottle, this smaller bottle, it goes to the bottom. Cap that. So here you can see that tube right there. That is what is going to the bottom of um, your, your bottle of this small bottle. And this bottle is just filled with water, halfway up with water. So what happens is the carbon dioxide that your big two liter bottle is making goes through this tube right here and comes down into your other bottle and it bubbles up through the water. And as it's bubbling up, some of the alcohol that was produced by the yeast in this bottle is caught by the water here. So it acts like a rough filter. And then it comes here and then pressure builds up here and everything, pressure builds, and then it pops back out and it goes back out into this tube, which is the longer one, which goes da, 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 up the side of your tank and into your aquarium through this hole. And then it can go into like a carbon dioxide reactor or it can just bubble into your tank, even though that's really inefficient. So yeah, so you want a reactor on the end of that. So here, let's come back over to our yeast. As you can probably, you could see here, it's starting to get this weird, like, these little, like, clumps and everything. And that's what you want it to do. See on the side of it? Those, those clumps, that's the yeast starting to form and, um, activating, basically. So here you take it with this. Uncap this bottle. And you want to get this yeast in here really carefully. And you use your spoon from before. Kind of spoon some of that stuff out of it that's at the bottom still. And just kind of drop it in there. Yeah. So now the yeast has been added to your sugar mixture and stuff. And I like to mix once or twice more. This helps it a little bit. And there you go. That's your whole um, carbon dioxide generator then. So I'm going to let this sit for a little while, make sure it activates, and then hook it up to my aquarium, and I'll show you guys my whole um, carbon dioxide reactor that's going with my pump right now and stuff, and um, show you guys how it start, it'll start bubbling over here too. So keep on watching, and I'll get to that in a sec. Oh, and um, before I forget, this um, mixture can actually take up to an hour to activate. Well, it starts forming carbon dioxide but the time it goes through you know this whole tube and everything and goes up to your aquarium and everything it's gonna take a little bit longer than just five minutes so be patient with it sit with it and let it go for an hour to an hour and a half if it hasn't started by an hour and a half your your water wasn't warm enough or your water might have been too warm if your water's not warm enough the yeast doesn't activate so it doesn't start eating up all that sugar and making carbon dioxide and then if it's too warm then you have the problem where your yeast is actually killed because yeast is actually a living microorganism. So I'm gonna wait a little while, hook it up, show you guys how it's working then. And so yeah, hope you guys like this video and see you in a sec. Okay, so it's about an hour and a half later and you can see here this whole layer right there is just like this foam stuff that builds up. And this is what you gotta be careful about when you're filling it up with water. You don't want your water level to be higher than like here. So then you have that foam there and that's the carbon dioxide. And then down here in my filter bottle, right there, pretty good um, CO2 output right now at this moment. Those are the bubbles, and then they bubble up through here. They go up, the pressure builds up here in the cap, and then it pushes through the right tube, goes around the side of the tank, up into here, and that's where it's bubbling off. Alright, so here you can see the airline tubing from the generator, and then the big black tube is actually where the air pump, which is right here, 
the air pump right here is blasting the carbon dioxide bubbles into the tube and then the tube goes up here and it actually exits my tank so right there that's the tube that's where it comes from right there and then it exits the tank and it goes all the way down here and then it comes back in right here and you can see that is that spot right there so that's where the carbon dioxide gets blasted back into the tank yeah so that's just um that it kind of goes outside the tank and everything but that's just to help you know blast the bubbles up and then if you can see where it's blasting bubbles they're not really getting up to the surface in time so hopefully they're getting diffused into that water